What is going on YouTube? I'm out at the moment, but I thought I'd give you guys my honest opinion about the Royal Rumble. I went into this hoping to be excited, because I do love the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. It was very lackluster, man. The women's match was better than the men's. The men's was boring. They didn't have hardly any surprises. And then they tried to wait till the last three to bring it. Bad Bunny, then Shane McMahon, and then Brock Lesnar. We knew Brock Lesnar was going to do it. But Vince was like, oh, I don't give a fuck about what the fans want. Put Brock in number 30. They already know what's going to happen anyway. I mean, these people just don't even try to make it fun. They really don't. I'm like, wow, I'm enjoying the women's match more than the men's? What's going on here? At least they tried and gave you some surprises and made it. Yes, we all knew Ronda was going to win. I don't like that. But the WWE is not in the business of making new stars. This is a prime example. They're going into Dallas. They want to sell it out. So they'll put their two biggest names, Ronda for the women and Brock for the men. What are they going to do when they run out of options? As in, run out of legends. What are they going to do? Honestly, when Triple H went to Vince McMahon, when he was like 64 or 65, I think it was 2014, 2015, it said, your services are no longer required. That's when he should have walked away. That's when he wasn't looking so terrible. He still had the muscles. And everyone was saying, thank you, Vince. I mean, that would he still could have done the day-to-day -day operations. He still could have stayed in the office and got some fucking sleep so he didn't look like... He has bags all over his eyes, for crying out loud. But, oh my god. Seth and Roman, I enjoyed Seth and Roman. Seth coming out like the shield, that was fucking badass, man. I'm like, holy shit. WWE is going to try to have fun with the Royal Rumble? I mean, that's the tone they set for the whole night, and I'm just like, hmm. He's coming through the crowd. Pat McAfee was mentioning Moxley by his current ring name that was great and then Seth did his usual entrance over the barricade and he really got in Roman's head man oh my god <laughs> he made Roman pissed I mean I, I was like damn what length will Seth Rollins not go to <laughs> but I enjoyed that that was awesome I, I knew there was going to be a fuck finish somehow <sighs> And that kind of put the crowd into with the sour taste in their mouth that they didn't get a clear winner. You know, it's like you can't you can't do that on a big pay-per-view like this. You can't have these crappy endings. I mean, come on, you, you go after Tony Khan about it, but you do the same fucking thing. It's like don't go after the man if you're gonna do it. You know, you had this awesome match, they were killing it, and then you had a crappy ending. It's like what Come on. And then with Brock and Lashley, that was an awesome that was awesome. But we all knew Paul Heyman was gonna do that. But they could have swerved they could have they don't fucking try to be creative. They really don't. At first I thought they were with Seth coming out like with the old shield music and everything. I'm like, oh this is gonna be a fun pay per view. I mean the fans were absolutely going crazy over that. And then they follow it up with the women's royal rumble i mean the the match flow was perfect until becky and doe drop i mean that could have been a kickoff match come on that did not need to be on the show i'm sorry but i know it's like oh it's becky lynch we gotta have her on the card <sighs> if there is one match that could have been on the card that would have been it for the pre-show honestly no one gave a fuck about that match. No one gave a sh flying shit. I mean, that crowd was dead silent for that whole fucking thing until it was over. And they're like, yay, let's move on. <laughs> and then they followed up with the mixed tag match. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it's like, damn, they're giving us like 30, 45 minutes of boredom. By the time the men's rumble, I think that's what did it. They're like, that's part of it. When it got to the Men's Royal Rumble, people were just kind of like getting antsy and 
losing interest because of the last two matches that were on the card. You can't start off so hot and then have bullshit in the middle. I mean, one of those matches could have been on a kickoff show. Just to get the fans time to get up and walk around for a few minutes and come back. But they didn't need both of them back to back. That was ter- that that was the only point that was terrible. And I think that ruined uh, the men's Royal Rumble match because fans were getting bored of those two matches. But I thought it was going to be fun. Excuse me. For the most part, it was. But that men's Rumble match, man, there's just a lot missing. It was not exciting whatsoever. Especially after AJ got eliminated, there's no point of watching. But then he got Omos in there. You know? And I was glad he got eliminated because I was worried. I'm like, oh shit, don't tell me they're going to have Omos fucking win this thing. <laughs> oh, we we're all hoping not. But they eliminated AJ and everybody was left disappointed again why do you people defend this shit they'd leave you disappointed over and over and over again and people still like oh wwe yay they're awesome they're better than tony khan like really at least tony khan gives you a fucking smile when you leave it makes you not feel insulted and actually cares what you want to see i mean you gotta give him credit for that I mean, he does not let his crowd go go home unhappy. Very few, maybe like two times I can remember, when when Kenny robbed Mox and that stupid death match or whatever they had. Other than those two moments, they've been doing a wonderful job. A lot better in this shit. And it's like, oh yeah, Ronda's gonna main event WrestleMania. Brock's gonna main event against Roman. We all knew that was coming. But here's the question I, I propose to you before I get out of here. Who's going to be next for Bobby Lashley? What are they going to do? Flip-flop uh, Drew back and forth between Raw and SmackDown? I mean, I wouldn't put it past these people. So Bobby has a good opponent for, at WrestleMania, but he went through everybody. So it's like, now what? He's going to re-go through everybody again? I mean, these people just don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, what's Seth going to do? Oh, I didn't get my Raw shot. I didn't get the WWE title shot. I got screwed over by Roman. I can see that happening. I can see Seth going to Adam Pearce and lobbying for a match against Lashley. But other than that, Edge is going to be probably tied up with AJ. Because AJ's been calling him out on Twitter. Saying, let's finish this. So I think that's where they're going with, with Edge and Styles at Mania. But uh, I don't believe it. I mean, I can keep going on and on all day about this. Poor Drew McIntyre, man. He looked so upset <laughs> at the end of that. He's like, I knew they were going with Brock, but I'm so disappointed they did it anyway. I'm just like, at least that part kind of made sense for them being the final two. But I would have much rather seen Drew than Brock Lesnar. I mean, at least I would have been like, oh, shit. I mean, Drew's still young, and he's got plenty of years. And he carried the company on his back through the whole fucking pandemic. So why not? You know, he's finally starting to not have that go-away heat like he was getting for a while there. <laughs> like, damn, man, these people do not want to see him anymore. <laughs> but... Guys, that's my honest opinion about the Rumble. As there are some fun spots, and then part of that show was just not doing it for me. But let me guys know, let me know what you guys think down below. Who did you predict to win? Were you right? Were you correct? And please leave a like on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, and turn the bell on, please. It's so very important. So I'll be back on Tuesday with a little something cooking up with a special guest, and I'll let you guys know more about that probably tomorrow but thank you guys so much i love you youtube take care and see you next time